Hello everyone, it's Robert from Hilton Got Volvo in Downham Market. Uh, thank you for taking the time to have a look at this XC90 Inscription Pro that I've got here in my stock. Set off in this osmium grey and really does look amazing with the silver trim around the windows, the door handles, bottom of the doors, the running boards, uh, the uh, roof rails, the tilt and slide panoramic roof. Keyless entry, keyless start, two-tone alloys, and again, these chrome tailpipes at the back really do make it stand out. It's a T8 engine. What I mean by that is it's a two-litre, four-cylinder petrol engine up front with an electric motor and battery somewhere in between, um, and it has the capability of running either on petrol, electric, or both. Uh, so you have the best of all worlds. And it's all-wheel drive, as all of these vehicles are and some great silhouettes. Let's open the doors and have a look inside. So being this is a plug-in hybrid, this is where you plug it in. Now you can run it on uh, electric, uh, from, or run it on petrol, or both as I've said, but you can also uh, charge the engine, or charge the battery from plugging it in. You can also charge it from the engine, and you also get some charge from kinetic uh, energy, from braking, slowing down, and the like. Coming into the cabin itself, visually very appealing with the leather dashboard, the off-white stitching and the wooden inlays really is looking nice. You've got the Nappa leather seats, uh, perforated as well with the off-white stitching and inscription embossed on the headrest. You've got the, uh, the tilt and slide panoramic roof there, lets in so much light into the car. The right hand portion of it is fixed, the left hand portion will tilt and slide and there's a blind that pulls over that can be um, stopped at any point. Electric seats with three stage memory setting and you've also got the leg extension on there as well. Coming around the back, same styling cues in the back, three three point belts, eyes are fixed on the two outer seats three independent headrests, armrests in the middle, power supply in the middle, vents in the middle and B pillars. One, two, three seats are all individual, so they can be moved backwards and forwards. And you can see there that they can be tilted forward and back as well. Now, as well as having, um, this also has the four-way climate control. So the driver, front passenger, and the two outer passengers in the middle row can all have their own temperature. Very clever indeed. And as well as having the tinted windows, you also have the benefit of the sun blind as well. Coming around the back, as these are all seven seaters, and this is no different. There's the charging cable, and you can give it gives you a quick insight on the space. Yeah, these are all three, all the seats have three point belts, so you do still have a decent amount of uh, foot space, and these seats can be pushed forward if required. Being that it's the Pro model, it comes with air suspension, so you can either raise it or lower it depending on your needs, and you can do that from either here in the boot or in the driver's cabin. Automatic tailgate. Fuel cap needs no introduction. There's no rips or tears that can be seen. Electric windows uh, all round. Electric mirrors, folding mirrors to boot. And the driver, just like the passenger, has three stage memory setting. Let's jump inside. And sitting in the driver's seat, it really is a pleasant place to be. Uh, and looking uh, at the dashboard, you've got this really nice clear and concise display. You've got the digital and analog speedo in a digital format. Um, you've also got uh, your speed limiter, adaptive cruise and pilot assist. And you also have a fuel gauge as well as a battery gauge. Now this car has the head up display uh, and you can just about see the number in there. It appears a lot larger in real life. This video doesn't do it justice, but it shows you the speed that you are doing. It'll also show you the speed that you should be doing. Uh, and it will give you simple instructions if you have a, something programmed into the sat-nav. Just means that your eyes are on the road for longer, obviously giving less strain, so really clever indeed. Coming back down, you've got auto lights, auto wipers, adaptive lights, and a number of steering wheel controls. And if it can't be controlled from here, then the chances are it's controlled from here. And just like your tablet or your smartphone, very intuitive. You can pinch in, pinch out, change the direction of view. Home button if you ever make a mistake. You've got your digital radio as well as FM and AM. You've got Bluetooth for your phone, so making and receiving calls, but also as well listening to your music and your podcasts. 
As I said earlier, you can control the temperature in the back. It's got four-way climate control. This is where you control the seats, uh, the, sorry, the temperature uh, in the front. You've also got heated seats for the driver and front passenger, heated steering wheel, but also as well, the driver and front passenger also have the benefit of cooling seats. Great in the summer months. Swiping across, so you can charge the, um, the you can charge the battery uh, from the engine just to give you a bit of extra uh, charge, and then you can also hold that charge as well. So if you have got charge in there, it doesn't get used. It's really clever as well, indeed. It's got bliss. It's got cross traffic alert. Again, if you're not sure what they are, please ask. We'd love to tell you. It's got front and rear parking sensors as well as a 360 degree camera. You can choose, however, to look at the in some of the different angles as well great if you're wanting to get into the lines uh, at a supermarket it will also help you park in and park out both perpendicular and parallel so really clever stuff uh, on there uh, you've got you can change your change the bandwidth if you want it's got apple carplay it's got android auto it also has the sound experience so you can select surround sound um, the tones and the like that's because it has the Harman Kardon stereo. So it gives a few extra speakers, a few extra tweeters, really does make a difference um, on the sound quality. Really is quite a clever bit of kit. Now, one other thing that this has that not many cars have is massaging seats. Uh, visual and very, very appealing it is too. You can select the different um, difference that you wish. You can have um, different uh, intensities and different speeds. So really clever uh, indeed. Coming down, you can select your drive modes. So that's where you can select either pure, so it just runs purely on electric. It'll always default to hybrid mode, uh, so it's uh, always a nice equilibrium between petrol and electric. Polestar mode, so that's when it utilizes all of the electric and all of the petrol and changes gear a little bit later, later in the rev range. And you've got off-road modes as well. Now these modes will also indicate what uh, height uh, the car rides at. So this has air suspension, so if you have it on the constant or the all-wheel drive, then it will raise up. And then if you have it on the Polestar, then it will hunker down, so there's a little bit more slipstream. Very clever indeed. Gear selector. You've got your starting stop of the engine. That's where you change your drive mode and your electronic handbrake. Well, I hope you found that of use. It was nice to show you around this XC90. If you've got any questions, my name's Robert. I hope to speak to you soon. Bye-bye.